Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We're daily vlogs, so if you don't this video, make sure you come back every day. We got a very tired Poppy Sue, it's almost nap time, I think. <laughs> uh, we're having a good, relaxing morning. We're all mostly ready for the day, Christine's working out, and she'll get ready for the day. Don't know what we're doing quite yet. Don't have any specific Memorial Day plans. Um, we might go to this outdoor mall, we might go downtown, we might just do nothing. What? What are you doing, tie-dye boy? <gasps> Delicious. Stuffed animals, look at this. It's giving me a little Aja to sing on these empty boxes ready to pack while they get ready. <laughs> Sarah and Christina went to the store to get some supplies for lunch. We think we're gonna go to like a park or a nature walk area and then have a picnic because it's a beautiful day. Okay, Jamesy, you're in. Uncle have like the greatest golden book. They had a Hercules, Oldie, and an Onward Newie. Oh, boom bus fuel. Should we steal this rocket chair from Mr. Kurtz? Mm -hmm. I already showed the boxes inside the hospital. Yeah, so today is Memorial Day, and we originally thought that the Sheffield Belmont Fest, like music fest that we've gone to in the past, it, it was this weekend. We thought it went Saturday through Monday, but it was only Saturday and Sunday, so kind of had to like switch our gears. We decided instead, since we've been pretty go, 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 we were going to go to Lake Catherine instead, which we've actually never been to. Christina and Grant have, I think they brought Violet when she was little. Um, but it's more like nature walk. We were gonna have a big picnic. Me and Christina just went to Pete and I'll show you what we got. We're gonna make like a big Italian sub and then a whole bunch of other snicky snack fun for the picnic there. It'll be nice, it'll be like, relaxing but also like good for the kids to like be able to go and explore but like doesn't take as much like energy as like going to an event or something so it'll be like a good in-between of getting out um but also just relaxing i could eat this entire thing of bakery cookies if you like bakery cookies are like my top three favorite food so here is our fruit of choice a little platter some cherries that are in season now we got bomb pops and then little snackies. We have the Dots homestyle pretzels. They're sweet, so cinnamon sugar. Some pita chips. This is a garlic spread, I think. Yeah, garlic cheese spread. That's gonna go on our, our sub. And then hummus. And this is a chipotle lime dip. So those are the two little sides. Then we got this antipasto meat to go on the sub. The kids got some Lunchables and then we also got some kombucha and this energy drink balls. I don't know if, I think we've shown this before. It kind of is like a, a cream soda thing. Peter really likes it so I got him. I got him those. And then our kombucha. So that's gonna be our little, our simple picnic. But I'm like pumped, I wanna eat it now. Wow. She's feeding us good. Christina was making up the sandwich and we were like, we just need to eat now <laughs> and not wait to go to the nature, the nature valley, the Lake Catherine. So we'll see if we make it there, but we're going to have a picnic just in the backyard. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. That's nice, right? <laughs> We had a total change of plans today. We we're supposed to go on a nature walk and we ended up in the big city. We're on Taylor Street. He says forget about the apple juice. He wants a seaweed snack. Take my money. 
we're getting a busy burger. Just blasphemous because the OG Al's beef is literally right there. But we've never had this before. This is where Christina and Grant had their first date. And so, we're feeling it. ever spent. Hey yo. Yeah. the Jamesy. And they took this kid out of the city and moved him back to the suburbs. Look, he looks at a home. Reading his Haunted Mansion Golden Book in the middle of the sidewalk. This is his block. <laughs> yeah, what's he doing? <laughs> Look at this crossed arm boy. There you go. That's what's up. Five and two. We were all excited. We're gonna go over to Taylor Street Tattoos and just get one. They are closed, probably because it's Memorial Day, but maybe this trip will be back. Here's Ailes. I also have to tell you guys, every one of these UIC signs, if you can see, it's like blue with white vinyl. The place that I worked before we moved to Florida in 2017, it was like our job to make all of these. So these sat at my job for so long, all the boards, all the vinyl. So I have, these These just have a place in my heart. And that concludes our Taylor Street tour. Oh, look at that cool little UIC. It's on Melissa College campus. I failed a class in this building. Did you? <laughs> and there's a new building going up right there. This is arguable. I think this is like one of my favorite things about being a UIC graduate is that this was one of the greatest views of downtown Chicago ever. I could just a casual. I could just it's the best. And then right there, Jim's original. Phil from somebody feed Phil went there. And Al's. And Al's. Both both on our college campus. Yeah, because Chicago's the best city in the whole world. Good morning, we're so glad you're here with Daily Vlogs. If you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. We're going on a morning walk. City today. Some appointments going on. Peter's gonna do some work. On my lunch break, we're driving to the north side. We're gonna mm -hmm. get set up at like a coffee shop or something, finish working the rest of the day. And then we're gonna like probably avoid rush hour traffic, so we'll get to enjoy a little bit. Look at that fountain. Sarah's favorite icon of the city. Start of Route 66. Check it out. Got some street parking in our old neighborhood, so we're gonna go to our old park. Sarah's almost done. She's gonna be up with us. I'm gonna get logged back on the work at a coffee shop over in Halstead. We'll be ready to go. I think you can see it. The cottonwood is falling like snow. There is so much of it. Both boys are asleep, a little stroller nap in our old neck of the woods. It's so cool because before, like this time last year, 
James would be in the single stroller and I'd have Teddy in the carrier. I'm gonna selfie just for a second because my mouth is so numb from my cavities being filled. You can definitely tell. And I thought I was done, but I have one more cavity on the other side. So all that dental work, but one more visit and I'll be totally done. I'm so numb. Ooh, I love a good new statue. That is officially done with work for the day. Yeah. And uh, it's so glorious to be here in the summer. I was just thinking like, you know, we have lived in Florida for two months. We've had heat for two months. And so I feel like we don't like deserve this gloriousness. But we went through a Chicago winter. We did, yeah. We just got our summer early. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it is just glorious. And even over here by the lake, it's even like cool, breezy. We're strolling by the friendly confines. And there's a Cubs game at seven. We looked in the going. Uh-huh. Just a little later than we expected to be down here. Yes. But we are gonna grab dinner over here. Forgot that this small cheval open on this corner of Waveland and Clark. We hadn't seen it yet. This this is where we're gonna be eating tonight. We have not had like we've not eaten here before. So I'm excited to eat it. Yeah. You are? <laughs> Peter's not a tequila guy. <laughs> Big star, boom, sitting outside. The kids and Sarah all protected from the, the yeah. shade, and then I am being scorched. And we're right across the street from Gallagher Lane, Wrigley. We're gonna get you. Seven, so we were told we have like an hour until things get crazy. crazy. Plenty of time. Chips and guac. Yes, I'm getting this ready for Jamesy. Woo, baby. I got a nice Lagunitas beer. Ready to go. Sarah's living her best life. Patio weather. Fun. These chips are warm. All right, food came out in like four seconds. We've got four different tacos. There's a spicy potato, a fish, a barbacoa, deliciousness, the rice and beans. We also got a walking taco inside that Fritos bag. We've always gotten takeout. Well, I think I've gone a big star before with Lauren in Wicker Park. Not a and never this one. I'm just, I'm just and James is maxing on his guac and chips. I love a walk It's like a recreation right there. The Evergreen Park Rec Department. Pretty surreal to be back. We love this park, huh? Yeah, we do. The kids are asleep and we still have 30 minutes before the final episode of Ted Lasso comes out and Grant's trying to teach us about the difference between international soccer, club soccer, the Premier League, where Ryan Reynolds falls into all this, and how we are the biggest Newcastle fans of all time. <laughs> and he, had, he, he went outside to go get a dry erase board. I don't think we mentioned that Grant is injured and had an yeah, he may have torn one or one or two ACLs or one meniscus, one ACL. He got an MRI in both of them today. So it's like old times, guys. Us three just being Yeah. Is asleep? Ten thirty in that two a.m. Yeah, and we're just keeping our fingers crossed that the, kid, that the kids stay asleep so we can watch an hour and fifteen minute episode of Ted Lasso at eleven. The different kind, of the, the different in the England League and the Premier League and the Champion League and the losers one and the losers Not two. Champions League, yeah. Okay. So the league, you win a game, you get three points. We just finished Ted Lasso. So it was the greatest thing that ever happened to us. It's good to be home. It's gonna be home. The better episode before. Good afternoon. We're so happy you're here. Back tomorrow. It's the hottest day of the year on the south side of Chicago. What is this one? Is that a squirrel? Oh, please don't be sorry. Do you want to get on? I'm sorry. Please don't be sorry. Jamesy's new word is. 
Yes, James's new phrase is I'm sorry. And it breaks my heart. Because we don't quite know exactly understand the context of it yet. But yes, we're out and about today in the neighborhood. Look it, sure. <laughs> Frog. Hop, hop, hop. I know, I'm sorry. So this is Circle Park. <gasps> go, go, go. The Evergreen Park Community Center is right there. So this park is where, like this whole park, and it's a big park. There's softball fields, there's a big field, and then there's the playground. Um, all of it we spent a lot of time at because my mom ran mini day camp here. It was only two days a week. And we were campers and we were counselors. And so it's really cool that the kids are playing here today. And I played softball here. So we've had a lot of fun times at Circle Park. All right, Sarah and Christina took the kids to the park and then to lunch with some of their aunts. We got trout and coffee on the Sicard's fancy TV, just doing some work. Can you see the signs of packing up the house? Empty shelves, empty walls. Our next stop for the day is Peppy's. We've shown here before, it's our, our signature in town spot. Um, also, Circle Park was like the middle point of Peter and I's houses like in high school. So regularly, that's where, because we didn't have our license when we first started dating, that we would just each walk to Circle Park, even with friends and just, you know, meet up and that's like where we would start. So yeah, that Circle Park is a, an important place. We got chicken strips, a Greek chicken wrap, cheese fries, pizza puff. Look at that dipping station. you're confused about working in East Coast time and it being Coast, central. We central and and then I, we were just like chilling when I was done with work and then I went for a walk with Teddy and then I was just in the screen and port to them snoozing and then all of a sudden Sarah's like, hey, it's six o'clock, we gotta go. I'm like, what is space time? <laughs> and now we're headed to Violet's softball game. Just a bunch of little kids run around <laughs> like they know what they do. Oh, they do. Over. Mint, butter, pecan, peanut butter, chocolate. Got some fresh rainbow cones. I don't know about that, but it looks delicious. What is it? What flavor is that? Birthday cake. Birthday cake. Woo! This is kind of funny. Look at this monster that Grant got. What is it? Is that a banana split? <laughs> and a rainbow split? That's what it looks like. That's the biggest thing I've ever seen. Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here with Daily Vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Look at this big kid. <laughs> Look at a backpack, looking like a hundred years old. Yeah, us Brookharts are eating the Sicards out of house and home. So me and Teddy are going shopping. <gasps> I made our list on an envelope, which is something my mom would always do before grocery shopping. And I was like an endearing thing shit, so I did that. Got two nights of dinner, snicky snacks, all sorts of good stuff from Pete's. Okay. Violet's about to try a nutty bar for the first time in her life. Cheers. What do you give it? 10 out of 10? A foul out of thousand. All right, we're grilling again tonight. We're doing pork and chicken Hawaiian skewers. Looking delicious. Gonna get these in the grill, get them going. I did spill some of that delicious sauce on my shorts, so that's a bummer. All right, here we go. We got some finished delicious smelling skewers. They look very good. We got some stuff over here. What is that, sauerkraut? It's a banana salad, salad, some peanut butter noodles. <laughs> now they're Ohana noodles. <laughs> Poppy Sue is a little confused at life. She's in her pajamas still. Poppy Sue. Oh, he's so cute. Be still. Oh, you I can't even breathe. Let me read this to you. We're just reenacting. Belle. What is that song called? Belle Bonjour. Little yeah. Town. Little Town, I think. 
with that, I think the book arts are going to sign off because I think they've been forgetting to sign off recently. Yeah. I think and, it's a four part. And it's become a four part. We've just been like, go, go, go. Enjoying our sweet time with family and friends. So it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.